is my day. This is my moment. This is my responsibility. This is my day. This is my moment. This is my responsibility. I am making a difference in my life as it's constantly changing. I am making a difference in my school as my classrooms are constantly changing. The camera shows my face, but it can never capture my heart. I have learned to look beyond the ABCs and 1, 2, 30s. This is my day. This is my moment. This is my responsibility. This is my day. This is my moment. This is my responsibility. I am making a difference in my family as my focus is constantly changing. I am making a difference in a world that is constantly changing. I learn to be more loving and more forgiving. From behind the Zoom screen, I chose to stay diligent. I have learned to help my friends using apps and gadgets. I became a helper to those who needed help the most. I became a student who saw in between the pages of quizzes and tests. I became a digital creator and a digital citizen. Many saw these two years as a way not to work, but I work ever harder than I did before. Many saw these two years as an isolation, but I choose to strengthen my resolve. Many saw these two years as endless assignments, but I chose to see them as challenges for me to conquer. Many saw these two years as a setback, but I chose to step forward. These two years locked us down. These two years have hidden our smiles. These two years have stopped the world. These two years have stolen our childhood. But it can't be stopped. We will not be stopped. The journey awaits. It awaits for all of us. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Son be with you in truth and love. Did we actually learn something? What drove us to stand strong during online school? These questions remind us of our school focus this academic year, Learn and Obey. For about two years, in the midst of the pandemic, we have been learning how to understand our situation as God's way of shaping and nurturing us and how to become God's guidance through His words. Like what is said in Proverbs 1 verse 5, let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. Every day, we strive to become wiser and more obedient to His Word. A new journey awaits. All graduates, you have a road ahead to walk along. With the love of your learning heart, your obedient heart, and God's grace, you will become more than conquerors and overcome any obstacles in your journeys. Thank you, parents, for your unwavering support of our beloved children as they progress through the elementary grades. Today, I can proudly pronounce that all grade 6 students of 2021-2022 Citahati Elementary School East Campus have officially graduated. Congratulations to all of you. You will always be a part of our Citahati family. God bless you all. The graduates from 6A Kalista Aurelia Mindrawan receives Personal Recognition Award Chelsea Joanne Wijaya receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award Sherlyn Jofeli Wadinatung receives Visual Arts Award Cheryl Kaylin Alessandra receives Complete Assignment Award. 
Lily Shama Shalom Apulina receives Personal Recognition Award. Javelin Lin receives Personal Recognition Award. Galizia Kuarsa receives Personal Recognition Award. Madeline Chloe Leonard receives English Proficiency Award and Performing Arts Award. Michelle Celine Chokro Di Harjo receives Visual Arts Award. Nasha Evangelia Wong receives English Proficiency Award. Parang Maya receives Personal Recognition Award. Patricia Adeline Purbowo receives Complete Assignment Award. Darren Suargo receives English Proficiency Award and Performing Arts Award. Dylan Nathaniel Lin receives Personal Recognition Award. Gabriel Henderson Yusuf receives Performing Arts Award. Jackie Shane Penna receives Excellent Character Award and Performing Arts Award. Jonathan Arpina Gunawan receives Excellent Character Award. Joshua Jaden Gunawan receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award. Kenzo Bradley receives Excellent Character Award. Michael Yo receives Personal Recognition Award. Nathaniel Louis Saputra receives Complete Assignment Award. Patrick James Hartanto receives Complete Assignment Award. Rafael Tanka receives Personal Recognition Award. Outstanding Efforts Award since its A are given to Cheryl Kaylin Alessandra. Elishama Shalom Apulina Jefflyn Lee Patricia Adeline Purbowo Nathaniel Louis Saputra Congratulations 6A graduates! The graduates from 6B Andrea Nicolene Vihanto receives Personal Recognition Award Angela Kelly Hartono receives Performing Arts Award Every hourly Lionel receives Complete Assignment Award Crystalline Naim receives Personal Recognition Award. Deborah Kathleen Tanser receives Performing Arts Award. Caitlin Lasmana receives English Proficiency Award and Personal Recognition Award. Kareen Gabriela Kurniawan receives English Proficiency Award. Kate Gillian Lim receives English Proficiency Award and Visual Arts Award. Melody Ecclesia Nugraha receives Excellent Character Award. 
Quincy Lee receives Visual Arts Award. Sophie Madeline Tampian receives Personal Recognition Award. Vanessa Vijaya receives Excellent Character Award. Azael Aaron Sutanto receives English Proficiency Award. Cliff Braden Ng receives Excellent Character Award. Enzo Matthew Kwok receives Personal Recognition Award. James Timothy Vijaya receives Personal Recognition Award. Jeremiah Winston Sylvan Susilo receives Excellent Character Award. Julian Marcel Emanuel receives Performing Arts Award. Keegan receives Personal Recognition Award Kevin Jason Vijaya receives Complete Assignment Award Sebastian Aditya Alexana receives Excellent Character Award Timothy David receives English Proficiency Award and Performing Arts Award William Lee Hang Ong receives Personal Recognition Award. Outstanding Efforts Award from 6B are given to Andrea Nicolin Vihanto, Avery Aurelie Lionel, Sophie Madeline Tampian. Kevin Jason Wijaya William Lee Hang Ong Congratulations 6B graduates Don't get stuck in the numbers like how many years until I graduate Life will come faster than you expect Talking with people is not about grammar and spelling, but it is about listening to their heart and sharing with them your dreams. That is the true power of words. You will be the world changers, but never forget where you came from and the country you represent. You are Indonesian in blood and spirit. The world is yours for the taking and each new place you go will be a new language and culture to explore. Embrace the difference and love the people you meet. Wherever you go, God is there with you. However long you are gone, God is waiting for you. You have studied about the wonders of science around you, but you are God's creator's creation, and science can never explain how precious each of you are. And when it passes by, you can never get that time back. So don't count your days, but make your days count. You have followed the rules and guidelines these past few years. And now, we want you to follow your heart and the road God has for you. Wrap yourself in the color of our beloved flag. Be courageous in the face of evil and pure in heart and spirit toward others. We are learned in different ways. Find out what you love and do it for a living. That is true path toward happiness. The graduates from 6C. Alicia Harjono receives Performing Arts Award. Andrea Nicole Pugiono receives Excellent Character Award. Arnel Aurelia Tejo Prawiro receives Personal Recognition Award.
Charlize Aurelia Chahia receives English Proficiency Award and Performing Arts Award. Crystal Gobin Ramchandan receives English Proficiency Award and Visual Arts Award. Eleanor Jocelyn Sufianus receives Personal Recognition Award. Felis Catherine Hendra receives Complete Assignment Award. Gloria Lawson receives Excellent Character Award, English Proficiency Award, and Complete Assignment Award. Graciela Kelsey Chandra receives Performing Arts Award. Josephine Jap receives Visual Arts Award. Rosebell Haryan Tolim receives Personal Recognition Award. Sydney Angelica Thie receives Complete Assignment Award. Alexander Lee Seong Ong receives Personal Recognition Award. Alfin Irawan receives Excellent Character Award and Performing Arts Award. Dietrich Mahendra Lee receives Personal Recognition Award. Edward John K. Tingling receives Excellent Character Award. Enzo Valentino Lee receives Personal Recognition Award. Gavin Christian Ricanto receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award. Gerald Nicholas Tamrin receives Personal Recognition Award. Joshua Richard Santoso receives Personal Recognition Award. Justin Christia Donovan receives Personal Recognition Award. Kenneth Regan Sariowan receives English Proficiency Award. Valentino Shinichi Chandra receives Personal Recognition Award. Warren Michael Antolis receives Personal Recognition Award. Outstanding Efforts Award from 6C are given to Arnel Aurelia Tejo Prawiro Felice Catherine Hendra Sydney Angelica Thie Alexander Lee Seong Ong Gerard Nicholas Tamrin Congratulations, 60 graduates! The graduates from 60 Agatha Clara Muyon receives Complete Assignment Award. Aliana Nessa Hartawan receives English Proficiency Award and Complete Assignment Award. Florence Natasha Salindejo receives Excellent Character Award and Performing Arts Award. Grace Celine Tobias receives Personal Recognition Award. Ivory Precious Tanaya receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award. Karen Eugenia Salim receives Performing Arts Award. Kelly Josephine Hugh receives Visual Arts Award and Performing Arts Award. 
Kong Abigail B. Joyful Sutikno receives Personal Recognition Award. Leticia Annabel Tanuwijaya receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award. Michelle Millions receives Visual Arts Award. Sydney Raylene Chandra receives Personal Recognition Award. Victoria Alice Harsono receives Complete Assignment Award. Cedric Gregory Maximilian Gunawan receives English Proficiency Award and Complete Assignment Award. Enrico Gabriel Matulesi receives Performing Arts Award. Faith Abraham Evans receives Personal Recognition Award. Jaden Widodo receives Excellent Character Award and English Proficiency Award. Joshua Lolt receives Personal Recognition Award. Kenneth Farrell in Kiriwang receives Personal Recognition Award. Marciano Jonathan receives Complete Assignment Award. Matthew Regan Iskandar receives Personal Recognition Award. Richard Nathaniel Gunawan receives Personal Recognition Award. Severio Hayden Kondoputro receives Excellent Character Award. Johannes Salim Gunawan receives Personal Recognition Award. Outstanding Awards Award from 6D are given to Agatha Clara Muyono, Griseline Tobias, Sydney Raylin Chandra, Victoria Alice Harson, Marciano Jonathan. Congratulations, 6D graduates! Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Saya Lina, orang tua dari Joseph Pinjab kelas 6C. Mewakili para orang tua yang berbahagia dan bersyukur pada hari ini, mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Tuhan Yesus Kristus atas berkat dan kasihnya. Mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Sekolah Dasar Cita Hati, kepada orang tua yang telah mempercayakan anak-anak menempuh proses belajar di Sekolah Dasar Cita Hati. Meskipun dalam suasana pandemi Sekolah Dasar Cita Hati tetap menjalankan program-program dengan baik. Terima kasih kepada kepala sekolah dan owner dari Cita Hati yang terus bertahan di masa pandemik yang tidak mudah. Bahkan menambah fasilitas lebih baik lagi bagi para siswa angkatan selanjutnya. Terima kasih kepada para guru yang telah membimbing dan menemani anak-anak dalam proses belajar secara online yang tentunya sebuah tantangan tersendiri bagi para guru dalam mengajar para siswa secara online dan kelas hybrid. Juga terima kasih kepada segenap tim non-akademik Sekolah Dasar Cita Hati yang telah mendukung proses berjalannya kelas hybrid selama ini. Izinkan saya menceritakan sebuah cerita pendek. Ada sebuah kisah, kita panggil saja Tommy. Tommy sering sekali didisiplinkan, mengerjakan tugas terlambat, dimasukkan dalam breakout room di ruang Zoom jika terlambat, mendapat nilai kurang baik karena terlambat mengumpulkan tugas. Tetapi pada saat Tommy menjelang dewasa, Tommy hendak wawancara kerja. Tommy datang lebih awal dan mengerjakan tugas sebelum waktu interview habis. Tommy mengerjakan dengan penuh tanggung jawab. Akhir kata, Tommy diterima dan Tommy bertanya, apa yang menjadi kelebihanku? Selain dari kemampuan menjawab semua interview, taat pada aturan. Kehadiran dan pengumpulan tugas tepat waktu menjadi salah satu poin yang sangat penting. Nah, pesan saya untuk anak-anak, 
Anak-anak, menyelesaikan kelas 6 bukanlah akhir dari masa studimu. Ini adalah awal untuk jenjang yang lebih tinggi. Peranan guru-guru dalam mentransfer ilmu kepada kalian akan membuat kalian belajar banyak hal. Berterima kasihlah dan ingatlah jasa mereka. Mereka adalah pahlawan tanpa tanda jasa. Beruntung kalian bersekolah di cita hati yang fokus mengembangkan karakter dengan dasar kekristenan. Bagaimana setiap kalian adalah unik dan berharga di mata Tuhan. Tidak ada yang sama satu dengan yang lainnya dan tidak ada yang bisa menyamainya. Berterima kasihlah kepada orang tua yang telah mempercayakan kalian bersekolah di cita hati, mendukung baik secara materi maupun imaterial, selain perhatian dan kasih sayang, agar kalian bisa menjadi berguna bagi orang lain sesuai rancangan Tuhan dalam hidup kalian. Taat dan takun pada Tuhan adalah permulaan pengetahuan. Selamat menempuh perjalanan baru di level yang lebih tinggi. Selalu semangat dan pantang menyerah. Tuhan Yesus memberkati. The graduates from 6E. Selin Princess Matandi receives complete assignment award. Felicia Morris Leonard receives English proficiency award and complete assignment award. Gwen Madeline Oisi receives visual arts award and complete assignment award. Josevina Aurora Wijaya receives Excellent Character Award. Kaylee Cecilia Tan receives Excellent Character Award and Performing Arts Award. Kaylee Lauren Astono receives Complete Assignment Award. Octavia Dewi Chandra Asi receives Excellent Character Award. Sania Graciela Santoso receives Personal Recognition Award. Sydney Lowe receives English Proficiency Award and Performing Arts Award. Valencia Venia Ijaya receives Excellent Character Award. Valin Livia receives English Proficiency Award and Visual Arts Award. Vivian Christine receives Personal Recognition Award. Eldritch Lionel Tanjung receives Excellent Character Award. Arya Nayotama Irawan receives Personal Recognition Award. Bastian Vincent receives Personal Recognition Award. Edward Prachna Liando receives Personal Recognition Award. Jason Christopher Agiarto receives English Proficiency Award and Complete Assignment Award. Jensen Gunawan receives Performing Arts Award. Leonard Ayrton Harson receives Performing Arts Award. Nicholas Chandra receives Personal Recognition Award. Osvaldo Robin Hodiono receives Personal Recognition Award. Sean Chandra receives English Proficiency Award. William Wayne Haryono receives Personal Recognition Award. Outstanding awards awards from 6E are given to Celine Princess Matandi, Kayleen Lauren Astono, Sania Graciela Santoso. 
Vivian Christine Arya Noyotama Irawan Congratulations 6E graduates respect the teachers, parents, and the amazing class of 2022. God has gathered us here for this momentous occasion, and it is an honor for me, Ariana Yatama Irawan from 6E, to deliver my graduation speech. I know it has been hard for all of us this year because of the pandemic, and I'm sure we've all been waiting for this break. But remember that learning is not limited to a specific location, and we should always have the motivation to learn more. 
I also wanted to say that we shouldn't take our elementary years as just something we went through, but something we can use in our future and daily lives. I recall all the fun things we did in school, such as playing dodgeball, doing experiments, making new friends, and going on field trips. I remember being given the opportunity to plant rice crops and having to stomp on mud when we were at Bhakti Alam. Some of the students thought the dirt was feces. We were also permitted to bring money because we could buy fruits, snacks, and lettuce. I bought cowskin chips and fruits. But sadly, the pandemic cut us off from our experiences. The pandemic stopped us from going to Bali or Bandung or being on the class on the third floor, which some of us wished. But I believe in the name of God that this pandemic will end soon and we can go back to our normal lives and meet our friends because nothing is impossible with God. Always keep in mind that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Although elementary school is over, our lives are only getting started. We're all going to achieve fantastic things. That's a bit of a cliche, but it's true. We've all developed into wonderful individuals, and I'm confident that we can be the class that makes the world a better place. Show everyone love, respect, and kindness, regardless of our differences. Now I'd like to express my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2022 on our accomplishments, and may God bless all of us. Grace and peace to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are gathered here today to celebrate the graduating class of 2022. I am Javen Lim from 6A, and I am honored to be giving this speech today. These days have passed by so quickly, and it's hard to believe that we'll be in junior high school the next time we see each other. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we are taking our last step as elementary students. Everything in this world has an ending and we are about to complete this part of our journey. As I look around these familiar faces, I remind myself of all the best moments and the great events we've had. One day I can remember was the Jelajah Indonesia event. It was breathtaking to watch the mind-blowing dances, music, and poetry performances that day. This event wasn't held to only entertain us, but to teach us to tolerate differences and to not judge others. It's been a while since we met each other in person due to the pandemic, but that hasn't stopped us from creating precious memories together. We've learned lessons, shed tears, and share laughs and giggles while learning together online. Mom and Dad, we appreciate everything you have done to raise and support us. Dear teachers, we promise to be competent individuals whose actions and words will bring glory to God. I pray for all the graduates to begin their futures with open hearts and use their knowledge, skills, and talents to please our Heavenly Father. Keep this in mind that whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Now, as we wrap up this chapter of our lives nicely with a bow, I wish you all the best and congratulations, Class of 2022. Dear graduates and parents, we praise the Lord for His unfailing love and protection that has brought us through those days and here today to celebrate our children's accomplishment. His sustaining grace empower us to live our lives and witness God's greatness in our sons and daughters. Therefore, I invite parents to be with their children as we are about to pray and speak blessing over their lives. May we begin our prayer. Dear Lord, we are so thankful for your faithfulness and blessing over our lives, grateful that God's love has no end and instead lasts forever. We thank the Lord for keeping our children safe and healthy so that they may complete their final year and celebrate 
their end of studies at Jitahati. We lift them before you and pray so that you continue to lead them as they embark on their next journey in life. We pray so that they may understand your will, walk according to your words, and imitate Christ in their lives. We ask that you keep their footstep firm and remind them that you are with them always. May they sense the guidance of the Holy Spirit as they continue their journey towards Christ's likeness. We release them into your care, protection and guidance as we believe there is the perfect place for them to be. We believe that you will instruct them and teach them in the way they should go. You will counsel them with your eye upon them. In the midst of these uncertain times, we pray that they have an unshakable faith built on Christ Jesus as the Lord and Savior. May God's grace empower and lead them to fulfill God's given destiny. We pray that you give them friends and communities who bring them closer to you and give them wisdom and clear direction over their lives. Give them understanding beyond their years. We speak blessing for their future as they continue their study to the next level and ask for your wisdom for every decision they are about to make. We ask that they may remain to live in you live under your sovereignty and live for your honor and glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We pray this prayer only in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.